All right, guys, we made it back to the range, and we have the owner, Kevin. I'm the owner of the range. Get that straight. Yeah. And the well, owner of BTG. BTG. Can you explain to the guys uh, a little bit about the uh, the BTG and how it started, Kevin? So Just the BTG is a radio group that started with um, a handful of guys in the garage, post Sandy, obviously. Right. Um, a lot of us didn't have any communications during Sandy. And after Sandy, a bunch of us got together and said, we need to do something that's for us to have communications so that something like this can never happen again where we can't be in touch with one another. I mean, the story goes deeper, but it, it's right. a whole different interview. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Fast forward uh, six years. Wow, six years. Wow, okay. Wow. Fast forward six years and it's crazy. we're 120 members growing. Started out with three in a garage drinking beer. That's pretty cool. We're 120 members. That's awesome. And today we're at the range. It's just a, a meet and greet. It's just yeah. a way for friends and to get together and put faces to names. And I was, you know, A lot of people talk on the radio and they talk to guys for years and never know what they look like. And this is just one of those places yeah. to get together. And yeah, we appreciate you putting it on there, brother. It's a, it's a nice day out here. Yeah. It's a little um, warm, but people will survive. They'll get over it. Yeah. And then you lose a couple pounds because of sweat. Good thing. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hi, um, qu question on the, um, you know, you have the Lincoln system down in Florida, right? And you yes. also have Zello, right? Correct. So if anybody's interested, they can just go to the link that I'm going to leave downstairs to the... Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Like they to the, the website, they can check it out. Uh, there's going to be some updates coming to the website. There's right. some content that's going to come off. There's some content that's going to be added. Some changes, but it's all going to happen. Right. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, we've got two repeaters down in Florida. Right. St. Augustine and St. Martin. That's and cool. And obviously, we blanket Long Island up here in New York. And yeah. There's also some other repeaters that are in the works in the Carolinas and stuff that haven't been put online yet. Pennsylvania, I heard it too. Yeah, yeah. Pennsylvania is another one. It's yeah. coming. It's just, you know, it's um, a question on the uh, question on uh, what you actually guys do. Like you do, uh, we, we did the New York City Marathon. You want to explain do, a little wait, bit? So we, uh, aside from just being a radio club that offers backup emergency communications for ourselves and our families, right? We also provide public. We also provide public service communications. We help out with a lot of major events. Uh, Hope for the Warrior Run, hosted by the Great South Bay Amateur Radio Club. Right. Uh, New York City Marathon. It's done by New York New York Roadrunner. That was a cool. Or event Hams. That was a good uh, run. Suffolk County Marathon. Uh, we even do stuff in smaller street. Fair, it's a massive people street fair. We do right. communications for that. So, um, all kinds of it. It's just a way for us, uh, a way to give back to our community. But it's also a way for radio operators to come out, practice, and use their equipment in a more controlled environment so that they can get used to using it, rather than just saying, "Oh my God, here's a radio and run." Yeah. You know, they kind of get to use it, practice, yeah. and learn. Pretty cool. Because a lot of the people that come into us um, have zero radio experience. Right. And then you know, a year later, me being one of them. You absolutely yeah. still being one of them. Um, <laughs> a year later, most of them are, 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 are radio pros. They know yeah. what they're doing a year later. And exactly. A lot of them go on to become amateur radio operators. I'm an amateur radio operator. I started out as an amateur radio go operator go before I did this. Right. Right. Does anybody have not oil? doing nothing today, come uh, on down and we'll uh, get until probably about noon or so. The, um, you, you're with the, uh, you're with the um, OREM and uh, CERC movement too, right? We yeah, have, we have some County Office of Emergency Management. We do a lot of radio training and stuff like that with them. Same right. thing. Yep, yeah, yeah, we do all that too as well. That's cool. And then, uh, we're actually, this month we're starting to get involved with Suffolk County CERC. We have a couple of meetings this month. One coming up this Wednesday with Division 5, I believe. And then... Um, it's just basically what we do is, man. We try to spread yes. the word and help people be prepared for yeah. when the shit hits the fan, so to speak. Absolutely. And uh, what do you think of the range officer stealing our coffee there? Is there a problem with that? No, that's normal. Hi, range officer stealing coffee. What are you carrying? An unloaded Glock? <laughs> no, always loaded. <laughs> always loaded. He just doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Save a couple of rounds of that. What is that? Top of the corner, that's going to be your target. That sounded nice. That sounded nice. Lisa, what are you doing with the dog's leg here? What?
What are you doing with this? New York. New York. New York. <laughs> top of the corner, that's going to be your target. Right. Yep.